look at this sweet, sweet thing. Giant bat from Target. I believe this thing was only like 14 bucks, and it is awesome. So, we're about to mummify this, corpse it. Something is about to happen to this. Stay tuned. Just to give a size comparison, here is a Dollar Tree bat next to this giant bat from Target. And since I'm going to do this big bat, I thought, well, why not do a little bat? And since I have another one, and I got this skeleton from Dollar Tree, I thought, well, let's rip the wings off of this bat and make another fairy. And while I'm at it, I'm going to rip those arms off. I'm going to use these Dollar Tree arms, and I'm going to make some kind of weird, freaky, creep fairy. We'll get this going. I am super excited about this one, because all I've ever been able to find are those size like the Dollar Tree cells everywhere. And Target had this thing. It's sweet. It is... From wing to wing. Get that on the edge there. I would say probably right at 39 inches. It's a little short here, but I have the, the wings bent in a little. So 39 inches long. And then I'll go from top of the ear to the feet. It's about 22 inches tall. <clears throat> you can see I got the plastic here below it. I've kind of cut it out in a similar shape. I've got some tacky spray. I'm going to turn the bat over outside and spray some tacky spray all on the bones or the structure of the wings on the back side and then come back in here and stick it to the plastic. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the front side. I think that's probably the easiest way to get this all attached to the bat. Could use the hot glue, but hot glue tends to leave the that clumpy glue section that you can see, and I'm trying to avoid that on this. I may end up going back over it with black trash bag. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of fur in here um, kind of corpse it a little bit we'll just see what happens but that is going to be the first step is getting this plastic or plastic wrap whichever you're going to do attached to your bat and once it's attached i'm going to heat shrink it so that is step one all right i've got the plastic on there on the back side and the top side i glued tacky glued everything in place and then i wrapped all the edges up and then to the back, glued all in place. I grabbed a hair dryer and shrunk, shrank wrap or shrank all the plastic to the bone structure. And it has a really good look to it now. I did a lot of places where I melted through here in the wings everywhere just to give holes. I'm gonna stuff some guts up in here I'm definitely going to cut where these little finger things they have stick up and leave that showing. But that is what you have to do next. Once you put the plastic on the wings, is get it hot so it shrinks up. So that's the next step. Uh, I believe what I'm going to do now is coat all of the plastic with some liquid latex. Got liquid latex all over the front. A bunch of it. I mean, I went super heavy. I'm actually out of the latex now, so I need to order some so I can flip it over and do the back. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and mix up some black paint with the liquid latex. And then I'll give a thin coat over everything that already has the latex on it and that'll give it that good see-through blackish tint look uh, like some thin wings 
and then we can go through and corpse the head, corpse the feet, get some guts up in there, and uh, get some fur along the body, maybe along the wings a little bit up on the top, do some fur. But right now I'm at a standstill till I get some more liquid latex, but this has got to dry for at least a couple hours anyway. So that's where I'm at. Okay, it's been about a week and I'm getting back to the bat. The front side is done as far as the latex. And I got some new liquid latex in, Monster liquid latex off of Amazon. <clears throat> this was uh, about eight bucks. It's 16 ounces. <clears throat> Excuse me, the other brand is, uh, oh, I forget what it is, but it is 18 ounces for about the same price, but I just, I wanted to try this. I'm sure they're going to be exactly the same, but I just want to try different stuff out. So I'm going to just pour some on this guy, and I got the brush that I used before. I just cut it off. So that latex completely destroys the brushes. And I'm just going to paint it on here and give it a probably a day to dry uh, the other side I put it on real thick and it took about a day so starting to cool off a little bit here in the Tampa Bay area I'm north of Tampa Bay we're supposed to be a high of 77 today it's October 18th so that's uh, much better than 80s so I'll get some of this going and record it some people have been complaining on some of my other videos that I don't that I don't show every single thing um, if you want me to show you everything the videos get ridiculously long and some of it is just uh, it's just common sense I'm just gonna pour the latex on here and brush it over the plastic that I put on there and then it's gonna dry so I'll just show doing a little bit and then I'll come back to it if you guys want to see every single piece uh, just let me know, but they're going to be part two, three, or really, really long videos. I put the, went ahead and put the latex in the little Tupperware, and I'll use that to pour it a little bit and see how that pouring it works. All right, so I'm just dumping it on here <clears throat> and brushing it. <clears throat> and it's gonna dry. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna dilute some black paint, some acrylic black paint um, with water and see how that works and give a light 
uh, coat over all the wings. Even I'm actually probably just gonna do everything except the skull. Um, then I'll come back and do the corpsing. And I think on this I'm gonna go ahead and use the cotton ball latex method. Uh, maybe even some cotton ball and stain method like I did on the dogs. So that's it. It's all I'm doing. Just coating the back side of the wings. Um, I had a video where a guy got mad that on the floating max that I did, of course it's a hanging max. It's hanging from uh, fishing wire, 75 pound fishing line. Uh, guy got mad that I didn't show the fishing line or show me hanging it. But I explained it in the video that it was 75 pound fishing line. I explained that I tied it from a tree to the light pole. And I show in the video where I went through the body of the max. And also in the description, I have the link where you can buy the fishing line. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to make anybody mad on that, but uh, I just figured just climbing up the ladder and tying the knots with the fishing line was self-explanatory. If you guys need to see stuff like that, let me know. I just want to make sure I show everything so I'm not missing any steps for anybody that might be trying this on a giant bat or any other kind of skeleton prop. So I just have put the liquid latex. This time, like I say, I'm using this monster liquid latex brand. Seems exactly the same as the other one. Um, I did the front, flipped it over, did the back, it's gotta dry. From here, I'm gonna go into painting and corpsing. So that is exactly where I'm at right this minute. That's all I've done to this thing. I just put the plastic on, shrink wrapped it, and applied liquid latex.